everyone welcome back to my channel so today guys i'm going to do an overview for you guys how i wash my hair now and i'm going to show you guys two different wash because there's a quick one that i do that i don't put so much detail into but there is another one that i do that i wanted to just touch a base on just a few parts of them to just go over some important things that i do guys to keep my hair moisturized especially with the upcoming winter dry season so let's get started so the first thing I always do guys is I hot oil my hair on some form or shape. So this hot oil, I usually do my detail hot oil treatment when I'm having a wash day. I will go put my hair in smaller section and go ahead and hot oil each of them. And once I have my entire hair hot oil, go ahead and put a plastic cap for an hour over that on regular wash day and just let that sit so I can get a deep hot oil plant treatment on my hair once i do that guys this is what my hair looks like after that hour or plus out you will see that it's very moisturized it's hydrated this is actually just the oil on my hair but because it's been sitting for a long time it got a good treatment out of it now the next way i would hot oil my hair is to use my african pride gel pre poo treatment so that way guys i can do this quickly it doesn't have to sit as long and i do very big twist chunk with this and this is for my fast wash day and i go in i rinse that out a little bit and i put my shampoo on i don't need these to be in a twist and i go ahead and i use just the tips of my fingers to shampoo my roots don't need to put shampoo on the ends and everything will just slide down when you rinse it and some of it can even get on my ends so i'm fine with that now the next thing i do is my long wash day is first i would go ahead and actually hot oil and then put the conditioner on the ends of my hair as i showed you guys i did with the shea moisture treatment this allow for the conditioner to sit on my ends and after that i will go ahead with the shampoo on the roots so while the conditioner is on my ends doing all that good treatment i can go ahead and shampoo the root now i'm going to be using my scalp massaging brush to actually go in and scrub my scalp on my long wash day because this helps me to go in really deep and this is when my hair sit for a long time i want to make sure i get that scrub in i really do my roots now going in the shower one thing i want to point out to you guys is i have a very strong shower head that helps me rinse out my hair pretty quickly and i didn't speed this up because i want to show you guys how fast it actually rinse out the shampoo out of my hair once i go in i'm rinsing it out and this shan this rinse out of my hair in a matter of a few minutes i don't have to sit under the water as long and it keeps my hair moisturized because the product wash out pretty quick and clean and i absolutely love that now you see guys i have the whole blends conditioner this is a deep treatment also you can use another heavy deep treatment like this manuka honey shea moisture treatment i like to use the heavier treatments in the winter month getting the, to the colder season because this is where my hair needs it because it gets dry the most and if i do have the smaller twist in i will go in and take those out because i want to make sure my hair is properly conditioned when i'm putting that deep treatment in and my hair really looks hydrated so i want it to be even more hydrated now i'm putting the conditioner only on my ends i try my best when i do a deep wash to not put conditioner or any deep treatments on my roots now because i want that to be clean as possible for my products i do go and put extra treatment on there now another thing i want to point out to you guys is i finger detangle my hair quite a bit before i go in and with the comb this helps me avoid a lot of excess shedding unnecessary shedding and you go in you don't have to be rough take your time and actually do that and then go in with the comb and detangle make sure there's no tangle left and then i put away my twist so i can go ahead and leave that in for the deep conditioning treatment i will go in on my edges always because my edges in the middle of my scalp they get exposed the most to the environment so they tend to be very dry they break pretty easily so i always add an extra moisture on those roots edges the middle part even though the rest of my hair i don't do that usually and put that plastic cap on for at least 45 minutes on regular wash day and about 15 minutes on a quick day again guys my shower head 
it washed that treatment out pretty fast so it's not an issue at all to get that out even when i apply the heavier treatments you can see it wash out with no issue it's all out of my hair and it just gets taken out i do use that scalp massager again to make sure anything on the roots is getting out and even when i put clay mask on as you can see here guys is washing out the same way no issue it just rents out of my hair so it is a good idea to get a pretty strong shower head to get that water pressure to clean your hair as fast as possible when you're doing your wash day routine i realize and if you can see guys all that it leaves my hair pretty moisturized pretty hydrated absolutely love how nice it looks and feel after i get out the shower you can even see some of the curl patterns especially in the back of my hair it has more curl patterns than the front but everything is clean, it's hydrated. I absolutely love the result, how it turns out at the end every time I do one of those wash day routines. And that's what you're looking for. But that great clean, that hydrated ends, that's what I aim for whenever I'm doing my wash days like this now. And of course at the end guys, you put in your moisturizer leave-in. I put in butter and oil. If you can see my hair here, I just wanted to show you guys after I do this, this is the day after. I just put these in small twists and I'm just taking it out to actually show you guys how they look. My hair is 4C, so definitely on your hair type, you will get different result at the end of what the end result looks like. But this is just the day after wash day, me taking these twists out to actually show you guys just how hydrated they look, how nice they look, and how well and clean my hair and scalp turned out. So <laughs> this is basically a breakdown of a few step guys, some of the things to do on your wash day to get super hydrated hair and nice clean scalp. I'm going to have all the links for you guys of the videos and all the different tips that I give on here and some products that do make a difference in my hair. So I'm going to leave it down for you guys to get all those links so you can see some of the products I use, some of the things that I use them for and just to give you guys an idea of some of the products and tools that would work best for you guys so go ahead and click on those links down below so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already of course guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you'll know when i have new videos out and if you have any comments guys any tips and tricks of course always leave them in the comments down below and go ahead and watch my last video